My name is Shireen Rantry, and I've been the teaching principal of Ballymoney National School in County Cork for the last 15 years. It is a small rural Church of Ireland school with 28 pupils, and it is a changemaker school. This podcast is all about our journey so far as one of the 19 changemaker schools on the island of Ireland and why our school was selected to join the DCU Changemaker Network. Allow me to paint a picture of our school. We have just two class teachers and two special education teachers who are part time and uh, 17 families. Parents play an integral part in our school. We don't just include them in a tokenistic way. We need their skills and their input to allow the school to run smoothly. When we originally set up our PTA, rather than exclude anyone, all parents automatically became members of the PTA and are expected to attend meetings. We have no caretaker, so they maintain our school garden and our playground for us. They've fundraised and purchased a polytunnel and a large wooden astro boat for our playground. Parents model teamwork for our pupils um, and are such an asset to the school. They're part of our distributive leadership team. As a staff, we focused on creativity during the pandemic. We, as school tours weren't an option. We created a unique and beautiful seven metre long bottle top mural um, out of recycled plastic bottle tops. And it, it, it generated a lot of national media attention. Um, the aim of the bottle top mural was to help our two classrooms to feel connected to each other. But ultimately, the whole village got involved with collecting the bottle tops and it ended up uniting the village and our parish. Following on from all the media attention, we were nominated and accepted into the DCU Changemaker Schools Network last March. It is a network of 19 schools from all over the island of Ireland who aim to enable their pupils to become social net, um, innovators in their schools, homes and communities. Changemaker schools emphasise the 21st century skills of empathy, creativity, leadership and teamwork. Those were skills that seem to capture our strengths and values as a school. So how did we, a small rural Church of Ireland school, get involved? An email arrived last September informing us that we had been nominated as a changemaker school. The nomination was anonymous. We researched the network, spoke to another school involved and discussed it as a staff before we responded. It was important that everyone supported the idea. We didn't want to take on any initiative that involved endless paperwork as there are just two full-time teachers and we need to prioritise which initiatives to undertake each year. One of the disadvantages of teaching in such a small school is that there are only four brains to draw ideas from. We had got involved in several creative um, initiatives with our local Tidy Towns Association and seen the positive impact that it had on our pupils and our local community. We discussed it as a staff and agreed that the Changemaker Network was something that it could assist us to further develop and improve our school. The network emphasizes the importance of student voice, which is something that we try to do on a daily basis. We have student teacher meetings twice a year. We regularly survey our pupils for their views and the pupils learn the skills of debating and public speaking through the Concern Primary Debating Competition. The nomination process took several months. My colleague and I were interviewed initially. Then there was a lengthy questionnaire to fill in. Uh, the network coordinator, Fiona Collins, visited our school and met our pupils. And a board of, manage member, board of management member and a parent were interviewed. Finally, we were told that we had been accepted. 
It is a long and rigorous selection process, but it adds to the merit of being selected. The network meets remotely approximately once a month, where guest speakers introduce new ideas that could be implemented into the schools. They have an annual one day conference where the principals from each school and change maker leaders meet to in person to exchange ideas. We've arranged to visit another school in County Cork next term and to bring our whole school along. The pupils will experience networking and have the opportunity to engage meaningfully with other changemaker schools. As a teaching principal, I needed to use an administration day to attend the conference. I have 37 administration days per year to undertake my um, admin duties. The remote meetings usually take place after school, so I'm finished teaching and I'm able to attend online. It is an extra commitment, but we view it as an opportunity. Hearing new ways of empowering the pupils, talking to other inspiring school leaders, and hearing the change maker pupils speak of the transformational change it has made to their lives and the lives of the people in their schools is inspiring. Joining the network brought a sense of pride to the whole school community and the parish and was an affirming moment for our school. We are just at the beginning of our change maker journey, but I'm looking forward to seeing the positive impact that it will have on our pupils' lives, on our school and on our community in the future.